Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academy with me Chris. In this video we're going to take a first look at Logic Pro 10.4 update. A considerably good update uh, again uh, from Apple. Uh, the, their incremental updates have been really really strong this last uh, from 10 and in this one uh, is no different. So we've got this new thing called Smart Tempo which uh, is tempo detection and kind of manages all tempos across your project. So you can just be grabbing files, bring them in, it'll detect the tempo and put everything in time. So we don't have to go in, get the file, switch on uh, flex time and then flex it to the bar and stuff. It's all done automatically. Also very, very clever uh, is you can do a recording of a tempo and it will go and detect the tempo and make you a tempo map for that recording. Or you can just do a recording, again, not against any click track, and go, I want this to be at 120, and bump, it'll put the recording at 120. So uh, three different options. You can bring audio files in and uh, make it the tempo of the project. You can uh, do recordings without a click track and do a tempo map, or you can conform that uh, to a new tempo. Uh, so really, really strong, really, really good. We'll have a look at that. New effect plugins. So we've got a new Chroma Verb. Uh, beautiful looking interface, Retina, uh, and this uh, lovely uh, sort of spectrum uh, display showing you where the reverb is affecting on the, the waveform across the spectrum. Uh, three new EQs. So we've got a console, a tube, and a graphic, uh, all based on classic uh, EQ. So the console is based on Neve, the tube is based on Pooltech, and the graphic is based on API. And some legacy stuff from Camel. If you don't know Apple, bought a company called Camel, uh, which they turned into Alchemy, their synth, and now some of the other products that Camel had, a very uh, widely used one was Camel Fat. And we can see Camel FX coming out here, and they've also Camel, uh, the sequencer. Uh, there are some new uh, drum kits, uh, players a uh, new library for alchemy uh, with 150 cinematic presets and I think a couple of new filters for retro synth uh, so yeah a, a really good hefty update so let's have a look at this uh, tempo the first thing you need to do is go into the tempo smart tempo you see this new project settings uh, we have this new uh, box smart tempo so we can when you first open Logic after you download it, these two will be off. So you need to switch this on. So set new recordings to on and align to bars and beats and import a tempo on and align to bars and beats. And that allows us, it says, if you're bringing in a new uh, audio file, align it to the bars and beats here. So let's go and just test. So we've got a, a tempo 120. I've gone to where I store my sample packs and gone, I'm going to grab a loop. Oh, come on. Oh, stop it. Let's just grab that in. And now uh, it's brought it in and conformed it to the 120 tempo. Let's have a listen. So no need to go and switch on flex time and go and grab it and bring it out. It's doing it automatically. It's brilliant. Uh, let's go and just see how well it detects a against other source materials. So let's go and grab some other stuff. Here's a drum loop at 120. So let's drag and drop that. I mean, this is just... Oh. So you can show whether it's detecting on the downbeat. So maybe you have a vocal that starts prior to the beat and you can, it'll try and detect the downbeat. But here we can see the downbeat is detected okay. I mean, this is just going to save so much time and there's a vocal at 123 My name is let's get something a bit more interesting there you go so let's drop that in and so you can either say don't show or show and it'll automatically open up uh, our file editor no 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 so Instantly, this is genius for me. This is just game changer for me. This is, I've been toying with moving from Logic to Ableton because I just want that loopy bass stuff. I want to be able to, to make loops really quickly and it was always very cumbersome uh, in Logic and now pff, this is, you know, solved. No, 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 no. 
so brilliant. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, show you this uh, uh, adaptive uh, recording. I'm not going to have any click track. I'm going to record a shaker in randomly and we'll see Logic will uh, analyze that recording, put, get to find the downbeat and put conform it to the 120. So let's have a go at this. So put it in record. Okay, so don't show. And let's just loop around one bar of that. I'm going to switch off the input. And let's have a listen against the metronome. I mean, that's. That is incredibly clever. I, I just randomly started the shaker with no click track, no tempo, and it's de detected the downbeat and just put it in loops. That's amazing. There you go. There's just instantly quick loops. Uh, so that's smart tempo. You can also, uh, for that, I can create a tempo map up here and it'll map out the tempo. And you, once you copy the region, it'll copy the tempo or you can conf you can adapt it or automatic mode. So there's a couple of different things to uh, be looking at there. This is going to be amazing for those on Logic wanting to do DJ mixes, wanting to make loops. Uh, this is, to me, a game changer. So next up, uh, <coughs> we'll just have a look, quick look. Uh, this is the space designer. Uh, let me just switch all these guys off. So yeah, we're all very familiar with uh, space designer. This has been a complete re-rub of it. So uh, you have your sampled IRs. You can import uh, impulse responses. Uh, we have a course from uh, way back about us taking an impulse response from a cathedral and importing it and deconvolving it. Uh, so yeah, lots of uh, large, medium spaces, gated reverbs. There's a couple of really nice ones in here. So uh, output EQ, much nicer, very much like channel EQ. Switch it off. The volume envelope, so you can uh, design your attack and your decays and your sustains. Get it reverbs and stuff. So yeah, new uh, space designer. It's it's. I think functionality is probably the same, uh, but just a new interface. This is the one we're really interested in, is the chroma verb, and I think this is, looks absolutely stunning. Uh, a new way to look at reverb and to visualize it. Uh, you can switch it on and off as a kind of like a think of it as an analyzer. Uh, normally it would just. Let me see if we go to to do EQ. You can get an idea if it's kind of similar analyzing. Just a bit more groovy graphics. So you can see the, the content here is the same as the content here. Uh, so decay. I suppose the big thing is uh, it's got a visual representation of the decay happening. As it this uh, color will fade as the decay fades. I suppose the great thing is it's got uh, now tempo synced decay and pre delay, which is something uh, you know, lots of people would get calculators out or uh, uh, use uh, online calculators to calculate the uh, decay time of reverbs and, and even compressors and stuff. So I think there's going to be a big shift to uh, tempo syncing, uh, reverb times, pre delays, and even tempo attack and release settings. Uh, so, yeah, really nice. I haven't had much time to, to look at. There's concert hall, dense. I'd have to say, on initial. It sounds very clean and very defined to me. And who, do, who doesn't want to sit and look at that uh, visualizer all day? So we've got an EQ as well. 
again very much like uh, the channel EQ. And another thing I've just noticed on plugins is uh, undo and redo. Uh, this is new. Uh, that's very cool. Uh, other plugins we've got, I'll just quickly show you them uh, because they are. Uh, let me see. Do -do. The console EQ that's based on uh, a Neve. The graphic is based on an API and the tube. Uh, very much pull tech. So, again, I haven't had time to put stuff through these guys and check them out. Uh, the next thing is the. Fat. So this is going to be bit crushers and bandpass filters, drive, distortions. So we can select a bit crusher. Again, oh look, these are reorderable. And you can change that to grit. Uh, compressors. <clears throat> so there's the they've brought in the compressor types from uh, Logic's own compressor. Step sequence. This must be a step modulator. Uh, we must actually maybe need to bring down. I need maybe need to download some additional content to find to get these things going. Uh, other things, I believe uh, there was these two things. I noticed studio horns and studio strings. Now again, uh, I didn't bring down the content, so I need to probably sit and download uh, content. But this must be look uh, kind of. I would presume it's going to be like a contact instrument. Uh, type strings, uh, maybe a, a big heavy uh, sort of uh, skinned EXS24 uh, synth uh, because this Mellotron is an EXS24 and it must just be, they must be just skinning uh, let's switch everyone off so they must be skinning now these uh, instruments Tape speed. That's all very cool. That's really, really nice. I like that. Uh, and let's just quickly have a look at the uh, 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 retro synth. Lastly, uh, and yes, now we've got a bunch of new filters. Uh, always really like the uh, fat filter, but this is now lush. We've got gritty, which are, you know, I'm not sure what these are based on. Sharp, creamy. We'll probably get in and play with them. Uh, and and realize that you know gritty's probably an MS twenty and lush is probably a moog and you know so and lastly we have uh, new drummers uh, so we've got uh, a percussion uh, probably new drummers in hip hop and stuff I'm I don't really use drummers so I'm not hugely aware of who is new drummers or not so. Uh, again, I think I need additional content, which I just haven't downloaded as yet. So there you go. Look, uh, Smart Tempo, completely amazing. The Chroma Verb sounds incredible. Welcome addition of three new EQs. Welcome addition of new filters in RetroSynth. Uh, new drummers and seemingly new uh, new content and couple of new studio horn studio strings which i haven't seen mentioned anywhere and vintage mellotron so guys uh a really brilliant uh update this is going to keep me busy for the rest of the day uh working out making beats and getting a good workflow so i think this could really really speed up those that make beats and loops so there you go really really strong update uh this smart tempo uh will keep me interested for the rest of the day just building loops and just being able to grab uh, audio and just drag and drop it in fact and, and and the recording of audio is as well is brilliant i think it's very very clever uh i will dig deeper into seeing what uh time stretching algorithms they are using and how to change that and stuff 
Uh, and one last thing I did notice is in the reverbs, platinum verb isn't there, and I use platinum verb quite a uh, quite a bit in an old setting. So if I go to bus, and I just tested it, it's still there. You can still get it. I don't know how. Let me see if I can. Uh, it's in legacy. There you go. So there's platinum verb. So if we go down to here, I didn't notice the legacy. See, it doesn't appear there. It just appears. It must appear only if you've got it open. So, there you go. Uh, guys, uh, that's 10.4 Logic. Uh, go forth, create, and enjoy. <laughs>